Hello, my name is Evie Burke. I am the mindset mentor and success coach at One Insight Closer, where I help you find your insights to success. And today I'm doing kind of an impromptu video. It was a thought I had as I was changing um, just a little bit ago from being out at a meeting to being home for the rest of the afternoon. And the, the topic is dressing for success and messy desks. And let's unpack that a little bit. So first let's talk about dressing for success. And let me tell you what I mean when I say that. And what I mean, what I'm talking about is how you dress when you're working from home and you're not going to have any in-person or on-camera interactions with anyone for the rest of the day. And what we're told by a lot of reputable sources is we should still dress like we're going into the office or we're um, going to have a meeting with a client. And I think that's true in so far as is it something that you have created a routine around? Because if you have an ingrained routine that works for you, keep it up. However, if this is something that you're beating yourself up with where, oh, but I want to sit in my yoga pants or my, my sweats, but I shouldn't, but everyone says I should. If you hear that kind of language, then there's something else going on. Then it's less of a, this makes me feel good and so I do it. And it's more of a judgment on yourself. It's more of a message you've picked up that you're beating yourself up with and you don't need to do that. And it's the same thing with messy desks where we're told that you should have a place for everything and your desk should be clean and there shouldn't be anything on it but maybe your phone and your your keyboard or maybe not even your phone because that's a distraction and if you are if you can't find what you need if you're falling behind with projects or work because things are scattered all about and you can't pull things together quickly, then yes, you probably need to clean up your office or your desk. However, if that's not a problem for you, then again, it's something that you're using to beat yourself up. If you have a messy desk and things are going well and you find yourself saying, oh, but I should have a clean desk, and oh, you know, they say that, you know, this, this is going to hold me back and I feel like I'm not as accomplished because my desk is messy. Well, then again, that's something that you're, you picked up somewhere that you're using to beat yourself up and you don't need to. You know, there's a great quote by Albert Einstein that says, if a cluttered desk is the sign of a cluttered mind, what then is an empty desk a sign of? And there's an article on Lifehacker that talks about this. And it actually cites a study that found that people are more creative when they have a little bit of a messy desk. That having a desk that was completely clear actually was a hindrance to being creative and, and problem solving. And it also pointed out that there's a number of very successful business owners, very um, creative geniuses, some might say, that had messy desks. People like Mark Twain, um, Albert Einstein, Mark Zuckerberg, Steve Jobs, they all have messy desks. So next time you find yourself judging yourself because maybe you decided to stay in sweats all day or your desk isn't as clean as you wanted it to be. Just notice that you're judging yourself, that that inner critic is being a little harsh right now and kind of pat it on the head and say, you know what, I'm fine. If I believe this doesn't bother me, and if you really believe it doesn't bother me or you, then it doesn't need to. I don't need to judge myself on these standards. So I want you just to notice where you're judging yourself, whether it's about dressing for success, messy desks, or something else. And be gentle with yourself. 
Uh, if you have any questions about this or you want to extend this conversation with me, uh, leave me a comment, hit reply. Uh, uh, if you're in the, uh, if you have my email and, and uh, send me an email or just give me a call and we can, we can talk about this and how it's showing up for you. My name is Evie Burke. Have a fabulous day and much love.